Addiction affects anyone and everyone. From a six-year-old child to an 85-year-old senior, addiction is the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. We have conditioned ourselves to our addictions so we can condition ourselves out. Our collection of good and bad habits shape us into the people we are today. From every coffee we drink on our busy day to the instantaneous reach for our cell phone every time we get bored or want to be distracted. Addiction comes in all shapes and sizes. If you want to take control of your life, then the first step is to start tackling your addictions. The bad ones. Obviously it sounds easier said than done, but after this video, you will have all the tools needed to understand addiction and how to start working towards that light at the end of the tunnel. When you are not being mindful of your addictions, your addictions will eventually take over your mind. The key to a happy, successful, and healthy life is to have happy, successful, and healthy addictions. The key is to learn to control your mind so you then can control your addictions. To start to learn to control your mind, I believe you must first understand two things, dopamine and the pleasure trap. Dopamine is an organic chemical in the brain that developed over time to give our ancestors the rush of excitement and energy needed to kill that deer or antelope that walks by on a hungry night, or to make us feel good after a big filling meal. It is basically the part of our brain that makes us feel rewarded for what we have done. Dopamine is an amazing chemical that if you can learn to control, then you can become addicted to anything. Cooking, cleaning, eating healthy, working hard at your job, getting a project done that you have been procrastinating on, whatever it might be, it can all be possible through teaching your brain to get excited and release dopamine to positive addictions. Now that leads me to the pleasure trap. The pleasure trap is the release of dopamine for things that don't truly bring long-term pleasure. Short-term pleasure is the root to all addictions. The pleasure trap is that feeling when you walk past a donut and know you shouldn't, but you can already taste how happy it will make you feel. Big business spends millions of dollars on marketing to find out just what they can do to trigger your dopamine addiction. So you make a purchase. Did you know that if you spend $5 a day at McDonald's over the course of 10 years, not only will you have eaten way too many terrible calories that you will for sure be obese, but you also have spent almost $20,000. McDonald's as well as all big business will do anything and everything to make you an addict so that they can get their 20K every 10 years from you. And let's be real, I know if you are addicted to fast food, $5 a day is way less than what is actually being spent. If instead of $5 a day on McDonald's, you cooked a home meal and you break down the cost of every individual ingredient, it becomes really easy to eat for $1 or $2 a meal. So if we save $3 a meal and instead invest that into mutual funds, over the course of those same 10 years that you paid McDonald's $5 a day, you would have saved up eleven grand. But with the interest earned on that 11K in mutual funds over those 10 years, you will have eaten better, healthier food, and have a grand total of $16,500 invested. And if you let that sit another 10 years without even adding another penny, it's gonna be worth 35 grand. So if instead of eating McDonald's one time a day for $5 a meal, you cooked a $2 meal at home once a day and invested the remaining $3 a day, when you become a parent to a new child, you could have saved up enough money to pay his or her college tuition on their 20th birthday, or at least a big chunk of it. And just think, that is only changing one bad addiction. Think of if you quit smoking cigarettes, or drinking soda, or even buying lottery tickets. When you combat every bad addiction, you will find yourself saving more money, needing to work less hard to make ends meet, and an overall happiness towards life. Now that your head is overwhelmed with all the money you've spent, I suggest taking a moment and writing down a few of your worst addictions. The big ones, cigarettes, vaping, fast food, soft drinks, energy drinks, scratch tickets. Write them down on a piece of paper and next to it write down how much money you spend in one month on that addiction and be honest. Now I will show you a different perspective. Add those bad addictions up and then divide it by your hourly pay after taxes. You are then left with a number 
That number is the amount of time you spend going to and from work every single month to pay for those addictions, most of which are triggered from that same work. That same job is just fueling your addictions. Now imagine if you didn't have to go to work for that many hours a month. Imagine the time you could spend doing things you love to do, the time you could spend with people you love. Just a few bad addictions can add up to seven, nine, or even more days that you have to spend at a job you hate being at, just so you can continue to maintain those bad addictions. I am sure you've heard the term, time is money, but I disagree. I think money is time, and the more money you need to make, the more time you have to spend doing things for other people. When you think of the meaning of life, it boils down to what you decide your own meaning to life is. But to me, it is to find as much happiness, love, fulfillment, and if you keep chasing that bread and keep grinding, you will never have the time to chase what you feel your meaning to life is. So, you understand dopamine, you understand the numbers, and maybe you even think you understand your own meaning to life. It is time to learn just how to fight your addictions. Because without the proper knowledge, you almost always fail after a short period of time, or eventually fall back into the same pattern or just shift from one bad addiction to another. The number one most important thing I can say is that this is a lifelong battle, so take it very slow and take it one addiction at a time. Studies show that if you focus all of your attention on only one single addiction, you will have your highest chances at success. The moment you try and quit a second addiction at the same time or maybe start a new positive addiction, you are lowering your success rate to almost zero. The reason behind this is because addictions and habits are just really hard to break. You have to go into it knowing this, knowing that you're gonna have a headache, knowing you're gonna be irritable. My suggestion is to lean on, on your other negative addictions as, as a crutch for quitting your other addictions. If you are trying to quit soda, then allow yourself to play more video games or eat more junk food, whatever it might be, just know you will eventually be working that addiction out later and don't need to feel bad for smoking extra cigarettes because I mean, you're, you're extra annoyed. Just fight through that first addiction. I have noticed the first three days of any addiction will always be the hardest. You feel the worst and you crave the most. But if you keep telling yourself that it's not you, but it's just dopamine and, and big business trying to get you to give them your money, it starts to feel a bit easier. I also suggest what I call breaking the link. That is when you take an addiction and find out how you can slightly alter it so it still gives you some dopamine, but it is not what you are addicted to. When I quit drinking soda, I realized there were three things about soda I was addicted to. The caffeine, the bubbles, and the sugar. So to break the link, I started drinking lemonade mixed with some sweet tea. Every time I wanted a soda, instead I had my Arnold Palmer. I broke the link. I still got the sugar and the caffeine, but I no longer got the bubbles. I knew I wasn't addicted to Arnold Palmer, and even if I got addicted to it, it would be much easier to kick than the stranglehold soda had on me. But think about, if I would have instead been way more optimistic and extreme with it, I would have said something like this, I am going to quit drinking soda and drink water only. Well, anyone who is addicted to soda knows that the thought of water is so bad that I probably would have been successful for all of a few hours. So always, always take it slow and easy, one step at a time, one addiction at a time. I wanna end this video with one simple perspective shift you might never have once thought about. We created seconds, hours, days, and so on as a way for ourselves to measure the passing of time. Now imagine if we never had nights, no nighttime at all. Imagine that it was just one continuous day that goes on for your entire life. You would no longer be able to say, I will start that tomorrow. Tomorrow doesn't actually exist because we are just in a constant state of now. So I end you with this. Now will always be the best time to start making change. Future you is not any better or worse than current you. So don't expect future you to take care of current you. Thank you so much for your time and I really hope this video helped. I would love to hear in the comments below what type of addictions you are struggling with and how you feel about them. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button to help get this video in front of more people struggling with addictions. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button.